In this video, I'll show you how to calculate your grade point average. First, let's start with a point value for each letter grade. An A is worth four points. An A plus is also worth four points, and so is an A minus. A B is worth three points. A B plus is also worth three points, and so is a B minus. C's are worth two points. A C plus is also worth two points, and so is a C minus. D's are worth one point. A D plus is also worth one point, and so is a D minus. And F's are worth zero points. An F plus is worth zero points, and so is an F minus. If you earned all A's, your GPA would be a 4.0. That's called earning straight A's. If you earned straight B's, your GPA would be 3.0. Straight C's would be 2.0. Straight D's would be 1.0 and straight F's would be a 0.0, .0 grade point average. The GPA formula is total points divided by the total number of classes. Let's say you were only taking two classes and you earned four points and zero points. The four points for earning an A and zero points for earning an F. Four plus zero equals four. Since four divided by two equals two, then the grade point average is 2.0. Imagine the total number of classes is seven and you earned two A's, three B's, and two C's for a total of 21 points. Since 21 divided by seven is three, the GPA would be 3.0. Let's try another one and stick with seven classes. This time you earn three A's and four B's for a total of 24 points. And 24 divided by seven would give you a grade point average of approximately 3.43. Let's do a few of these mentally. Let's imagine that you only took two classes and in one class you got an A earning four points. In the second class you got a C earning two points. The average would be right in the middle between two and four. So your grade point average would be 3.0. Let's try another one mentally. Again, you're taking two classes, you earn an A, four points, and you earn an F, zero points. Your grade point average would be the average between zero and four. Since two is exactly between zero and four, your grade point average would be 2.0. For this next one, let's imagine that you're taking five classes and you're in an A, a B, a C, a D, and an F. Since the two falls exactly between the zero and the four, the grade point average would be 2.0. For this next one, let's say you earn three A's, three C's, and one B. The three A's and the three C's balance each other out. Since a B is exactly between an A and a C, the grade point average would be 3.0. The same could be said if you had two B's along with the three A's and three C's. The grade point average would also be 3.0. And again, if you had three B's, three A's, and three C's, the grade point average would also be 3.0. We can continue doing this with four B's and the grade point average would still be 3.0. This time, let's say you've earned one A and one D. What's exactly between a one and a four? Two and a half. So if you earned one A and one D and you only had two classes, your grade point average would be 2.5. The same can be said if you had four classes and earned two A's and two D's. Also, if you had six classes and earned three A's and three D's, your grade point average would still be 2.5. If you're new at this, and you're just learning how to figure out the grade point average, remember to use the formula, the number of points earned divided by the number of classes taken. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you need help figuring out your GPA, please leave a comment. See you next time.